The libraries are doing nothing for the book industry. They give nothing back, whereas bookshops are selling the book, and the author and the publisher get paid, which is as it should be. What other entertainment do we expect to get for free? Bookshops are closing down because someone is giving away the product they are trying to sell. What other industry creates a product and allows someone else to give it away endlessly? The car industry would collapse if we went to car libraries for free uses of Porsches. Librarians are lovely people and libraries are lovely places, but they are damaging the book industry. They are putting bookshops out of business, and I'm afraid we have to look at what place they have in the 21st century. Terry Deary, author of Horrible Histories. Dear Terry Deary, what the frack? I'd like to introduce myself first. My name is Ren. I'm a Canadian avid bibliophile who adores libraries. This right here is my library card. And as much as I loved your series when I was a kid, Horrible Histories, which gave me an interesting scope on history itself. What the fuck? Like, seriously, what the frap? I read your words in The Guardian in February, and they still resonate as being one of the most infuriating things I have ever heard. I'd like to give you a picture of what the of what my city's library system is like today. And this is only 2012. We have 325,735 li library card holders, a total of 4,515,250 visits, an average daily an average of 12,901 daily visits and a collection of 1,314,769 we've upgraded to a brand new catalog website and we are adding new items to our ever growing collection our the library system offers services to immigrants teenagers children's children and for workshops for unemployed and a lot of other services. I'd like to address some of the things that you said other than what I mentioned in those lovely shots of my bookshelf's home. Number one, libraries are not an entitlement. They are a service worth investing in. The drive behind putting taxpayers dollars behind libraries isn't purely to, so that people can borrow books. I mean, they provide other free services, particularly to immigrants, like conversation circles to help improve their English. A lot of businesses, businesses, mind you, not just patrons or users or visitors or customers, bonafide businesses invest in our library system. It is free education, not simply a lender's service. Also, libraries create readers. It's like food samples. You're not, if you try something once, you're going to want to try it again. And you're more likely to buy it, and that's what libraries do. I mean, see, like, I've seen wait lists of, like, 300 patrons for like a new item but most likely a lot of those people are going to buy it if they really love the author so you're not losing out on money in fact you're probably gaining more money through the service and seriously libraries their place in 21st century they are moving forward in the times I mean our library system itself has provided an ebook service in which you can borrow ebooks from the library they're not just collections that house free books. They are a service. A service that is still necessary today for economic and for educational purposes. Now, the concept behind libraries that is collecting millions of items for archiving, maybe that might become outdated as we become more and more digitalized. But then my question to you is, where are we going to put all those books? They're, 
libraries aren't become aren't going aren't going to become outdated anytime soon. In fact, they're growing. Best wishes, avid best wishes from your avid Canadian nerd fighting bibliophile, Ren. Hi, nerd fighters. So, I hope this rant wasn't too boring or repetitive or iffy. Cause sometimes I can be that way. But I'd like to ask you, what's your take on libraries? Do you think they're going to become outdated anytime soon? Do you use them often? Do you even care? Or, I'd like to know your answers down in my trousers. I love Vivi. I, I love books and I love libraries. In fact, I'm really passionate about them. And to hear them get slammed by an author that I used to read when I was a kid, is it hurts. It does hurt. I'm Red and this is 365 Nerds.